What up, what up, what's the B-Word, man? I'm Anthony Addison with another segment of What's the B-Word. Like and subscribe to the page. Hit me up on Instagram, What's the B-Word 52, just like you see on YouTube. Hit me up on Facebook, What's the B-Word. And hit me up on Twitter, B-Word 52. And y'all already know what's going on with me. I'm just getting out of work, but you see the logo in the back, you know, on both sides. Excuse the, you know, the old calendar, but it is what it is. It got that bird on it. Baltimore Raven fan, Raven Nation stand up. Flock, let's get it. And if you're not a Raven fan... And you might be a fan of whoever. You might be a fan of the Broncos. You might be a fan of the Steelers. You might be a fan of the Buffalo Bills or whoever. Hit the like button anyway. Hit the subscribe button anyway. Because we talk football, period, baby. But anyway, the reason why we're here right now, um, of course, the Super Bowl was yesterday. And you know, um, the NFL don't sleep. Um, it's only like one little dead period in the NFL, and it ain't the dead period right now. We finna start seeing who's probably not gonna be getting resigned and who's gonna be really free agents. And you know, you know, Ian Rap reporting all them guys. They 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 doing their work right now. You know, so Greg Olson, which I kind of seen this coming, but Greg Olson has been released. Well, he's gonna be released by the Carolina Panthers, and um. It's pretty much black and white, man. Greg Olsen is, you know, he he, he didn't have a, you know, an awesome career. I'm not gonna say just great, like he just hands down the Hall of Famer, but he 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 has had a pretty good doggone career. Um, from the looks of it, he don't plan on retiring. He plan on coming back on the field and um, still giving it a shot. I'm not gonna say I can't remember if he did play this year. Or he did get hurt. I know he been having a, quite a few injuries in his later years, but I mean he is up there in the years and stuff like that. 34 years old. It was his 13th season in the NFL. For a tight end, that's a long time, baby. That's a long time. But, you know, it's already rumored out that Greg Olsen is um looking at Buffalo. He got an old coach in Buffalo. And, of course, he um looking to go travel at um Washington. And both situations, you know, to have a veteran a veteran um tight end like Greg Olsen, it's, it's helpful for your young quarterback. You got somebody like, you know, Josh Allen, who's having problems with, you know, accuracy problems and stuff like that. And one, two things that um, helps a young quarterback out in his early years when he's really trying to, you know, hit that learning curve in the NFL is a catch, a pass catching running back and a pass catching tight end, man. It'd be their best friend. So, you know, hopefully, um, hopefully Greg Olson find him a home. It looks like Carolina is really, really just going to revamp everything and um, start from scratch. Um, you know, still don't know the Cam Newton situation. Then, you know, Luke Heakley retired. They got rid of Ron Rivera. Um, new ownership, too, man. So, you know, just, you know, you you, you just got you, you might see a lot of things that Carolina don't normally do that, you know, they're going to be doing because it's new ownership and stuff like that. But, you know. Um, I could understand them letting go Greg Olson. I don't know what his cap hit um is. I don't know if he's a cap casualty or something like that. Um, I don't follow Carolina like I follow Baltimore, but I mean I can understand it. It's a thirty four year old tight end, man. And um when you losing the way that um Carolina's been losing, you kinda wanna go young. You kinda wanna go young in certain positions and stuff like that and you know, bring in a couple of vets and stuff like that. You just want a fresh start, so I can't be mad at them for trying to get a fresh start. Um, I think Greg Olsen still can play in this league. I'm not saying that he can be a starting tight end somewhere in this league, but I know for a fact he can go somewhere and get some um, a, a legitimate number of snaps and still, you know, make his presence felt in the game because he still can run routes and he still catch that ball. He got some good hands. Good hands. He's a decent blocker, but he's a way better catcher than anything. So, anyway, it's pretty much black and white, man. Greg Olsen, no longer a Carolina Panther. Like I said, he's he's planning on visiting Buffalo soon. Well, not soon, but when when everything hits the fan, he's gonna be you know headed to check out Buffalo and check out Washington. I'm I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of teams looking out for him, man. Shoot, you know maybe even New England because you know they need a tight end too. So you just never know, man. But um anyway, y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to the page. Um, y'all probably gonna hear from me again because I gotta check and see all my notifications. Like I said, I just been off work, got off work. But make sure y'all like and subscribe to the page. Hit me up on Instagram, what's the B-Word 52. Hit me up on Facebook, what's the B-Word. Hit me up on Twitter, B-Word 52. Man, I'm Anthony Addison. Oh, yeah, by the way, I will be doing another video um, about the Super Bowl. You know, I went live, but, you know, it's going to be something more organized, you know, more in my for format. 
Um, also, be looking out for um, another video where I'm going to be talking about a player versus a player. If you haven't checked it out, check out the T.O. versus Randy Mouse video. Um, hit me up for mailbag questions. I still got to do my off-season um, video for the Baltimore Ravens. I kind of wanted to wait till the season is over with and um, talk about our off-season approach, too. So make sure y'all just look out for all of it. Check out the um, last verse versus video, man. And um, I'm out.